Dominic, how are you today? I'm all right, it's fine, thanks. Okay, to many of my viewers, especially the Manchester ones, you will require no introduction, but um, could you just tell me very quickly a little bit about yourself for the viewers internationally that might not know? Well, I'm a well-known person in Manchester who stands up for rights and justice of people. I've been persecuted by the police for it non-stop. Spent millions of pounds investigating me, and I've got nothing except fake charges. Yeah. And for the last four weeks, there's been behind you this massive demonstration here outside this shop. Yeah. What do you think about what's happening just here? Well, I think the way the Palestinian people are being treated is uh, outrageous. And, and the Americans and the British know that, and they should be sticking up for them. Yeah. What's happening in that country is unbelievable. It never happened here. Why is it being allowed to happen over here? The Americans are quickly going into other countries, destroying them and walking away. Yeah. Well, if we try and compare, say, the Palestinian cause to the IRA, the reason why I think Britain didn't carpet bomb Dublin is that the IRA did everything they could to not kill civilians. Like, you know the biggest bomb here in 95 didn't kill a single civilian. But Hamas, they kill loads of civilians. Hamas have not killed their civilians at all. They're at war. They're trying to protect their own people in their own country. And, and that's right. If someone came into your house, you'd want them out the door. You'd use your force to get them out. And that's Palestinians land that always has been, always will be. Well, that's a, a big political discussion that we should park aside for now. But coming back to this exact protest on this street now, the shop, I think, is owned by an Englishman who is Jewish, yeah. but they sell Israeli products. So do you think, what do you think about boycotting the shop in it's particular? Not, it's not, they're not selling Israeli products. It's stolen from another land. It's taken from the sea, which the, the Israelis, the Palestinians, are stopping them going to. And that's wrong. You should have the life to do what you want to do. Yeah. It's, it's going to continue until someone steps in and, and Americans take sides of the a massive, you want to call them, and then they'll start listening to the Israelis. Do you think it's ever going to happen? America's going to take the side of Hamas? Well, at the moment, um, Americans have got their own problems. They uh, continue to, to step into every war that they can get into. I don't know why, but they do. And when they went into Iraq, that was an uncalled for war. If they want to do something useful, stand the ground and send in troops to, to, to protect the Palestinians. How do you think this protest here is going to end? What do you think will be the conclusion of all this? It'll go on and on. Uh, one or the other side will step down at the end of the day. But they won't, they won't know. It's just one of them things. It'll go on and on. And someone will just step down. And I bet in your time you've seen a few crazy things in Manchester. Yeah, I've seen someone climb a big wheel. Yeah, and I'm sure there's a lot of things that we can't talk about on camera as well that yes, you've probably seen. Yes, well, I'm on trial, but they'll all come out one day, you'll get a full interview. Uh, the book's out next year, so I don't think we're just Well, Dominic, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.